அன்புடையீர் சில தினங்களுக்கு முன்பு தம்பி பாரிசாலன் குன்ற சட்டத்தில் தலைப்படுத்தப்பட்டுள்ளார் உலக அரசியல் இந்திய அரசியல் தமிழக அரசியல் ஆகியவற்றின் தன்மைகள் நோக்கங்கள் பற்றிய தெளிவான பார்வைகளை தனது செவிகளின் மூலமாக சிறப்பாக வெளிப்படுத்தி கொண்டிருந்தார் கருத்தை கருத்தால் எதிர்கொள்ள திராணி இல்லாத சிலர் அவரை தாக்கியதை தொடர்ந்து நிகழ்ந்த சில தவிர்த்திருக்கக்கூடிய நிகழ்வுகளால் அவர் தலைப்படுத்தப்பட்டிருந்தார் என்பது நாம் ஏற்கனவே அறிந்தது ஒரு வணிக வளாகத்தில் வாடிக்கையாளரை தாக்குவது என்பது சாதாரணமாக நிகழாது பாரிசாலன் தாக்கப்பட்டார் என்றால் அது அவரது பொது வாழ்க்கைக்கு விடுக்கப்பட்ட சவால் என்பதே பொருள் பாரிசாலன் சமூக நலனில் நாட்டம் கொண்ட மெத்த படித்த இளைஞர் எந்தவொரு தகாத பழக்க வழக்கமும் இல்லாத குணசீலர் அவரது தந்தையார் இளங்கோ அவர்கள் தமிழ் இலக்கியத்தில் முனைவர் பட்டம் பெற்றவர் அவரது தாயார் தமிழ்ச்செல்லி அவர்கள் தமிழ் இலக்கியத்தில் முதுகலை பயின்றவர் அவர்கள் தங்களது ஒரே மகனான பாரிசாலனை சமூக அக்கறை கொண்டவராகவும் தமிழ் பற்றுள்ளவராகவும் ஒழுக்க சீலராகவும் வளர்த்துள்ளனர் என்பது உண்மையில் பெருமைக்குரிய விடயம் அவர்களுக்கு நமது பாராட்டுகளும் நன்றியும் சட்டத்துறையில் உரிய தகுதிகளோடு உள்ள தமிழர்கள் தம்பி பாரிசாலனுக்கு தேவைப்படும் சட்ட உதவிகளை அளித்து அவரது விடுதலைக்கு உதவுமாறு கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறோம் When I published my video on Dragon being Murugan, a few people felt that I was stretching too much. Some of them had not seen all my videos on Murugan. Prior to my publications on Murugan, he was known to be a war god. He was also known to be the fertility god, thus being associated with the phallus and sivalingam. Murugan was otherwise known as a mythical god and according to Hinduism, he was portrayed as a son of Shiva Parvati pair both themselves known as mythical gods he was also said to be the god of the mountains like shiva and parvati he was known to have fought a war with one surabadman that was all known to tamils on murugan before my works on him any other informations on him were mere appendages to these basic facts but i had unequivocally established the following several facts on murugan for the first time murugan was a human siddha and an ancient king too as a siddha he raised kundalini power and thus depicted with cobra snake reflecting this fact he belonged to the submerged kumari continent and hence called as kumaran after migrating from that lost continent he settled in ancient lanka along with his people he lived on the ground on hillocks not on the mountain ranges as believed till then murugan developed agriculture for the first time in humanity by burning the palm forest he also fought a war with the mountain kuravas in this regard has he created agri lands after burning the forest the goddess of agriculture and cultivated earth called pachiyamma he said to have originated from fire pachiyamma was one of the seven female deities called as saptamada that murugan introduced he cultivated foxtail millet and sweet potato as his first crops murugan was a cowherd king before starting agriculture murugan developed the first tropical calendar to assist his newly developed agricultural practice murugan developed martial art for the first time to protect his prosperous people against decoitic raids peacock cock and goat are associated with him as he probably used them for gorilla type of warfare murugan developed the indus writing system and it actually originated from lanka murugan is the al khidr the immortal prophet of islam murugan was a universal god of humanity a fact quite unknown before my works on him important videos in this regard are listed in the end screen of this video most of this info has to be known to appreciate the dragon meant murugan despite watching all my works on murugan some still might have felt that it is too much to call murugan the dragon it is for those unbelievers that i am publishing this video By researching on Marduk, the Babylonian god of the second millennium BCE, I shall prove conclusively that it was Murugan who was called the dragon. Marduk fought and killed a sea dragon called Tiamat. He also had a dragon called Mushushu as his sacred pet animal. Both these were ancient dragons and are nothing but mythological hybrid animals and they were built around a snake by adding features of other animals. By describing the features of these hybrid animals, and his consort sarpanit i would establish that marduk is murugan obviously we shall see that the hybrid animals called tiamat and mushushu 
are nothing but the hybrid images of the animals associated with Murugan, thus establishing that dragon actually meant Murugan. We would now reveal the identity of Tiamat, the dragon that Marduk fought with. Tiamat is referred to as a woman and described as the glistening one. Etymologically, Tiamat should have deformed from Ti Mada, which means the fire goddess in Tamil. Fire is obviously the glistening one and hence our etymology is correct. Who could be an equivalent deity in Tamil culture? We know that the agricultural deity associated with Murugan called Pachiyamma was conceded as born of fire. Obviously, she was called Ti Mada. Ti means fire and Mada means goddess. Thus, the agricultural goddess Pachiyamma was called Ti Mada in ancient Babylonia and this deformed to Tiamat, the glistening one. Why was she seen as a sea dragon? We know that Pachiyamma was also called Meenachi, named after fish and sea, thus the goddess of sea also. Obviously, Tiamat was a sea dragon. As Meenachi, Tiamat is the goddess of salt sea. As Pachiyama, she was the goddess of agriculture, which deals with the fresh water. Hence, it is conceived that Tiamat, the goddess of salt sea, married Abzu, the god of fresh water. Abzu should have deformed from Abisuvai, which means very tasty water. Thus, it metaphorically means that Tiamat is related to both salt sea as Meenachi and fresh water as Pachiyama. We know that Pachiyama and Meenachi were one and the same deity. Why was she metaphorized as a dragon? Tiamat, that is Meenachi, was created by Murugan as already stated. Thus, Tiamat represents Murugan. But as already proposed and established by me, Murugan was metaphorically represented by one mythical beast called a dragon who was a hybrid animal built out of snake, goat and cock, the animals associated with Murugan. Thus, Tiamat representing Murugan was conceived as a dragon. Why should Marduk fight and kill Tiamat? Actually, Marduk himself was Murugan as we would soon establish. That means Murugan killing Murugan himself. It's like George who was Murugan killing the dragon who was again Murugan. Funny. These strange stories originated as explained in my earlier dragon video due to passage of very long time between the times of Murugan and the times of Babylonian Marduk. Thus, through Tiamat, we have established that Murugan was called a dragon as Tiamat is referred to as dragon by ancient text. Next, Mushushu is a sacred pet dragon associated with Marduk. As Mushushu is referred to as a dragon by ancient text, if I establish that it represents Murugan, then it would mean Murugan was the dragon. The Mushushu is a creature from the ancient Mesopotamian mythology. A mythical hybrid, it's a scaly dragon with hind legs resembling the talons of an eagle, feline forelegs, a long neck and tail, a horned head, a snake-like tongue and a crest. The Mushushu famously appears on the reconstructed Istar gate of the city of Babylon dating 6th century BC. This Mushushu is also called Splendor Serpent. This is what is said about Mushushu. We shall prove that Mushushu means serpent in reality through etymology. We all know that the cobra makes whoosh whoosh sound. Woo sound would deform to moo sound. Thus, the whoosh whoosh sound of the snake would deform as mush mush, which together deforms as mushushu. Thus, the name mushushu originated from the sound that cobra makes. Thus, the mushushu dragon was primarily made out of cobra snake, and we also know that the cobra snake is associated with the Murugan. Its long neck and face is made of snake. Its horns and body are from the goat. Its hind legs are from the cock. Its forelegs should be the tough peacock but erroneously depicted as feline legs. Thus, the Mushushu dragon associated with the Marduk is a hybrid of animals associated with the Murugan and it is called after cobra as Mushushu. Now, if you prove that Marduk is Murugan, then we shall prove that Mushushu was a dragon associated with Murugan. We shall prove that Murugan is Marduk through his consort Sarpanit. That means Sarpanit should refer to Pachiyama, the consort of Murugan. It should be kept in mind that the agricultural goddess Pachiyama is called by many names like Meenachi, Valli, etc. 
these names would be interchangeably used for Pachyama in this video. It is said that the name of the consort of Marduk called Sarpanit means the shining one. As already said, Pachyama is said to have born from fire. That is why the Babylonian deity Sarpanit representing Pachyama was said to be shining one as fire is a shining thing. Sarpanit is associated with the Venus and we know that Valli, the consort of Murugan, is associated with Venus. In fact, Valli was named after Venus as Venus is called Velli in Tamil. Sarpanit is said to be creators of seed and thereby associated with the goddess Aruru. As Valli is the goddess of agriculture, she was obviously the creators of seed. We Tamils know that Aruru, that is Aruru, means Murugan, and obviously Aruru was associated with the Valli, the Sarpanit of Babylon. As Valli is the goddess of agriculture, and Murugan being the first farmer, Valli was metaphorically married to Murugan. As Murugan developed the first tropical calendar of the world to assist agriculture, Murugan Valli marriage is symbolically related with the New Year celebration. That is why Meenachi marriage is held in the first month of Tamil year, which is Chittarai month. That is the reason the marriage of Marduk with Sarpanit was celebrated as New Year in Babylon, establishing the fact that Marduk represents Murugan. Finally, to prove that Sarpanit means Valli, the goddess of agriculture, we shall use etymology. Sarpani should have deformed from Yervani. Yer means plow. Like the Tamil word Kalaivani means the goddess of fine arts, Yervani means the goddess of plowing that is, goddess of agriculture. Yervani, Servani, Serpani, Sarpanit. Thus, etymologically also, Sarpanit means goddess of agriculture who was a consort of Marduk. Similarly, the goddess of agriculture in Tamil is called by many names as Valli, Pachayama, Meenachi, etc. And as Valli is a consort of Murugan, it means invariably that Marduk means Murugan. As Murugan developed agriculture and as agricultural land was called Marutam, obviously Murugan was called as Marutuk. Marutam, Marutuk, Marduk. Marduk fought with the Tiamat dragon using a weapon called Imhullu. Though the spear is the primary weapon of Murugan, which was designed after the male sperm cell, the other weapon that he used in wars was called Irudalai Mukkol, which is a double trident. Irudalai means double-headed and Mukkol means trident. It is this Irudalai Mukkol which deformed and abbreviated into Imhullu, the weapon that Marduk used to kill Tiamat. Marduk is associated with water, vegetation, judgment, etc. Murugan developed seasonal calendar for the first time and hence associated with the rain and water. As he was an agriculturist, he is associated with vegetation. As he was the king of his people, he is obviously associated with the judgment. Thus, the attributes of Marduk are that of Murugan only. Thus, Marduk is Murugan. Thus, the Mushushu dragon, which is the sacred pet animal of Marduk, is obviously the hybrid of the animals associated with Murugan, namely the snake, the goat, the peacock and the cock. Thus, it proves that the Chinese dragon is a hybrid animal built using the animals associated with the Murugan. This dragon represented Murugan in China.